In the heart of Yellowstone's untamed wilderness stood the Grand Fountain Hotel, a beacon of elegance and luxury in the summer of 1900. Surrounded by the park's breathtaking landscapes, the hotel was a symbol of human achievement amidst nature's majestic beauty. It attracted travelers far and wide, eager to experience the comfort it offered in the midst of the wild. Into the scene of refinement stepped Leroy R. Piper, a 36-year-old visitor from Ohio. With a demeanor quieter than the lively guests around him, Piper seemed almost an enigma. His eyes held a depth that suggested a man on a quest, not just through the vast park, but perhaps a journey within himself. Yet no one could have guessed his arrival at the Fountain Hotel would soon weave his name into one of Yellowstone's most enduring mysteries. Inside the walls of the Fountain Hotel, luxury reigned supreme. Polished wooden floors shone under the warm lights of chandeliers, while guests with their finest attire filled the grand hall with laughter and animated discussions. They shared tales of the day's adventures, from sightings of bison herds to the mesmerizing eruption of geysers, creating a lively atmosphere of excitement and wonder. Amid this vibrant social scene, Leroy R. Piper made his entrance, his presence contrasting with the exuberance around him. With a quiet grace, he navigated through the crowds, a solitary figure among groups of animated guests. His demeanor was reserved, almost reflective, as if he were a silent observer to the festivities rather than a participant. The air of introspection amidst the hustle and bustle of the hotel hinted at the mysteries untold, setting the stage for a puzzle that would soon unfold around him. On his final evening, Leroy Piper was seen dining alone, a quiet observer in the dining room of the Fountain Hotel. He ate as if memorizing every detail of his surroundings. After his meal, he purchased a cigar, a simple act that marked the beginning of a profound mystery. With the cigar in his hand, Piper stepped out into the night, leaving the warmth and light of the hotel behind for the cool, starlit wilderness of Yellowstone National Park. When Piper did not return, concern quickly rippled through the hotel. Initially, there were hopes he might have taken a longer walk than originally thought, captivated by the nocturnal beauty of the park. But as hours turned into days without a sign of him, worry deepened. A search was organized, with hotel staff and volunteers combing the nearby woods and meadows, calling out his name and hoping for a response. The park's vastness made the search daunting. Detachments of cavalry were even brought in, their horses thundering through the landscape, yet no trace of Piper was found. As the search expanded, so did the concern among the hotel guests and the local community. The mysterious circumstances of Piper's disappearance became the focus of whispered conversations and speculative theories. What happened to the quiet man from Ohio after he stepped into the Yellowstone night? The search expanded quickly, with teams venturing deeper into Yellowstone's rugged wilderness. The terrain itself posed significant challenges, with dense forests, steep ravines, and unpredictable geysers and hot springs that dotted the landscape. Despite these obstacles, searchers remained determined, driven by the hope of finding any clue that might reveal Piper's whereabouts. As the search continued with no success, theories and rumors began to swirl among the hotel guests and staff. Some speculated that Piper, perhaps overwhelmed by personal thoughts, had wandered off, losing his way in the vast park. Others whispered of a more sinister fate, suggesting he might have encountered foul play or fallen victim to the wild animals that roamed the area. The mystery deepened with each passing day, and the lack of evidence only fueled further speculation. The park's natural beauty became a backdrop to a growing list of possible scenarios, each more puzzling than the last. Among the staff and guests, the question of Piper's fate became a topic of constant discussion, with everyone offering their own theories, but no one able to provide answers. The disappearance of the quiet man had turned into a mystery that captivated and confounded the imagination of all who heard about it. The Fountain Hotel, nestled in Yellowstone splendor, was surrounded by attractions that drew guests closer to the wild heart of the park. Notably, a bear feeding station behind the hotel offered thrilling encounters with nature as guests watched from a safe distance. The bears came to feast on scraps. 
Additionally, the area was renowned for its geothermal wonders, with geysers and hot springs painting a landscape both beautiful and volatile. These attractions, while marvels to behold, posed inherent hazards that cannot be overlooked, especially in light of Piper's mysterious disappearance. The Bear Feeding Station, though a source of entertainment, highlighted the presence of wild and potentially dangerous animals in the vicinity. This proximity to wildlife sparked concerns that Piper might have had an unexpected encounter with a bear leading to his disappearance. The geothermal features, with their boiling water and unpredictable eruptions, presented a natural danger. The mesmerizing beauty of these sites could easily lure a visitor too close with perilous consequences. In the wake of Piper's vanishing, some wondered if he had ventured to admire these natural wonders, only to fall victim to their hidden dangers. As speculation grew, these attractions and their risks became a focal point in the discussion about what might have happened to Piper. The natural beauty and potential peril underscored the mysterious circumstances of his disappearance, adding layers of intrigue and concern to the unfolding story. Following Leroy R. Piper's disappearance, the Fountain Hotel's once vibrant atmosphere shifted to one of unease and whispering curiosity. The lively conversations and laughter that had filled the grand halls and dining room were now tinged with the hushed tones of speculation and concern. Guests moved with a newfound wariness, their thoughts occupied by the unsolved mystery of the man who vanished into the night. Piper's room, left exactly it was before he stepped out, became a silent testament to the mystery. The bed, untouched since that evening, and his belongings scattered as if he would return at any moment, served as a haunting reminder to all those who passed by. The hotel staff, respecting the gravity of the situation, preserved the room's state, allowing no one to enter. It stood as a sort of shrine over a frozen moment in time, embodying the unanswered questions surrounding Piper's fate. This change affected everyone at the Fountain Hotel. Guests whispered their theories and rumors among themselves, while staff members shared concerned glances, all feeling the weight of the mystery that had taken over their once peaceful retreat. The disappearance of Piper had cast a shadow over the hotel, transforming it from a place of escape and wonder to a setting of enduring mystery. The search for Piper extended beyond the immediate vicinity of the Fountain Hotel, reaching to the furthest corners of Yellowstone Park. Despite the exhaustive efforts, which included combing through dense forests, navigating the rugged terrain, and scrutinizing every potential clue, the search parties came up empty-handed. No evidence of Piper's whereabouts ever emerged, deepening the mystery and frustrating those involved. As the search expanded, so too did the theories about what might have happened to Piper. Some suggested he might have accidentally fallen into one of the many geothermal features, a tragic misstep leaving no trace behind. Others speculated about a possible criminal element, suggesting Piper could have been the victim of foul play, a theory supported by the absence of any clues or witnesses. Speculative theories also circulated, ranging from the idea that Piper, seeking solitude, had intentionally vanished into the wilderness to start anew, to other notions involving wild animals or even supernatural explanations. Each theory, while differing in details, underscored the collective need to make sense of the unexplainable disappearance. As speculation mounted, the mystery of what happened to the quiet man from Ohio continued to captivate and confound, becoming a haunting element of Yellowstone National Park's history and lore. Years after Leroy R. Piper's disappearance, the grandeur of the Fountain Hotel eventually faded into history. By 1916, the once bustling hotel had closed its doors, and in 1927, it was demolished, leaving behind only memories and stories. Among these tales, Piper's vanishing act remained one of the most captivating, a mystery that has lingered in the shadows of Yellowstone's past, untouched by time. Leroy R. Piper's story has left an indelible mark on Yellowstone's history and the experiences of those who visit. It has become a testament to the park's capacity to awe and also to mystify, offering a narrative that compels as much as it warns. Visitors are drawn not only to Yellowstone's natural wonder, but also to the stories and mysteries embedded in its landscape, with Piper's tale being among the most compelling. Reflecting on the nature of unsolved mysteries, Piper's disappearance underscores their profound impact on our collective imagination. 
These stories, particularly ones as enduring as Piper's, resonates through time, offering endless possibilities and inviting speculation. They remind us the limits of our understanding and the allure of the unknown. In the vastness of places like Yellowstone, mysteries such as Leroy Piper's not only endure, they become a part of the fabric, intriguing new generations and keeping the spirit of exploration and wonder alive.